All right, well, the Stanley Cup is in Metro Detroit all weekend. Thanks to some homegrown champions from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Parties all weekend started today with the first ever Ann Arbor native to win the Stanley Cup, Ian Cole. Our Brad Galley was with the Cup today, and it's nice to have it in town. Of course, we'd like to be the ones, you know. Yeah, everybody here. knows the Red Wings and Penguins don't exactly get along, but if the Wings aren't the ones to win the Cup, it is very cool to see Michigan natives Ian Cole, Brian Rust, and Kevin Porter decide to spend their days with the big trophy in our state. And where Cole took the cup today is truly what it's all about. The line inside the Ann Arbor Ice Cube wrapped around the hallways with hundreds of people ready to meet a hometown hero and the Stanley Cup. You don't see penguins walking around no, you don't. just out of nowhere. I'm a huge penguins fan, so got here nice and early for it. They may have arrived at the rink at 9 a.m., but the cup started the day with Cole at Mott Children's Hospital. Yeah, it's been it's been fantastic. I mean, the whole summer's been a whirlwind, but especially today, it's been uh, been very hectic. But it's been it's been great. You know, we went to Mott's, we went to Ronald McDonald House. You know, it's one of those things you dream about as a kid, and you don't know if it's ever gonna ever gonna happen. Obviously, now that it happens, it's something that I wouldn't want to bring it bring anywhere else. The other day, he signed a photo and said. Um, to the guy that gave me my first job. Did you ever think that kid working that summer festival would be bringing the Stanley Cup into your rink? No, but I'm so proud that he did. Okay, so the elephant in the room. The Red Wings and Penguins don't exactly get along. Michigan fans, of course, they want to see the yep. Red Wings with the Cup, but one of the homegrown guys is the next best thing. When you see the, the smiles on the faces, what was that for you? Yeah, it was great. It was great. You know, there were a lot of Red Wings, uh, a lot of Red Wings gear, a lot of Michigan Block M's around. I went to Notre Dame, so that's a little bit of uh, enemy territory here. But like you said, you know, born and raised here in Ann Arbor, and uh, you know, just just being able to come out and see the people and see their excitement to see the Stanley Cup, I uh, can't beat it. Listen, I'm never gonna play in the NHL. You mind if I touch it? You are more than. We can hug it if you want. Let's do it, man. Yeah, Let's right. do it. Get in here with me. Right. <laughs> the Stanley Cup. Ian Cole, first ever Ann Arbor champion. Thanks, man. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. My favorite story from the day, there was a baby in the, inside the Stanley Cup, and one mom said, there has to be a blanket separating my child from the Stanley Cup because my kid's going to grow up and play hockey, and I'm superstitious. You can't <laughs> touch the cup before you win it, oh, and this wow. will be a champion someday soon. Oh, cool. How do they transport it around? How does that work? They're Phil Pritchard. He's the keeper of the cup. Oh. Around everywhere with it. He's yeah, the guy. He wears gloves, doesn't he? Wears he? the white gloves. You there know. you go. Yeah. We know. All right.